I know what you've all been thinking. Proto V2 is just the coolest thing in the history of the world. It's a free plugin for DaVinci Resolve, which is itself free. It looks amazing. It's super flexible. There's an edit page effect, an edit page generator, a fusion macro. It is amazing. But how do I make it loop? Today, I'm going to show you how. One method, one method at least. A viewer left a comment on that Proto V2 launch video asking how to make it loop. He then later hopped into a stream and we sorted that out. And today, I'm going to show all of you in this nifty little short quick video. It is one of the standard ways to make anything loop. If you've been around some editing circles for a while, you might have seen it. Uh, but we are looking at Proto, although you can absolutely uh, expand this to work with different stuff. To, and results might vary, but it might also look great. So let me go ahead and grab Proto, drag it onto a timeline. I'm going to pop this over to my nice little lava preset. That looks great. And what I like to do on this preset, pull down the wind speed a whole lot, and then also pull down master noise controls, because those are a little... Uh, out of control by default. And here we have this really cool fire texture that goes, it looks cool. I'll let this cache and we'll see when it gets to the end, uh, it will automatically, uh, if I click this button, it'll automatically loop back to the start and we just have that really harsh cut. And say if you wanted this as a stream asset or you just wanted to use this for a longer period of time but didn't want to stretch the effects you would have to render out the entire thing, you wanted it to be uh, pretty basic and just loop so it's more flexible, um, Watch this. We're gonna make this look way better. Here it goes, and it just has that really harsh cut right at the end. Gah! So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the middle, and I'm going to split my clip. I used a keyboard shortcut for that. You can also press B and click on your clip. And then I'm going to reverse the order of these clips. So now that harsh cut actually happens in the middle, cut right there, but at the end of the clip, when it loops back to the beginning, it's perfectly smooth because those are the natural frames that go from one to the other. So now all we have to do is smooth out this middle portion. And if you want to use this method um, just with normal video clips or rendered out video clips or anything else, uh, one thing you might have to do is pull back these edges um, and then bring them back together. Uh, the reason we don't have to do this with Proto is because it is a generator. Um, so there is already information there or it will pull in information um, like that clip was extended if you have hard boundaries of a clip um, to transition between these two it needs information from both clips so you might have to trim those edges but we can go right into uh, video transitions i'm going to grab a super standard cross dissolve leave that even at its standard uh transition length and then i will let this cache and we will check it out okay watch this it's gonna be pretty cool we are playing we're playing if you look closely, you might see a little fade in the middle there, but then it loops back to the beginning. And now we can just wash this through and it does not have that super harsh cut. And you'd need to be pretty eagle-eyed to catch that fade. Um, on this thing, it just functionally like doubles up some of that texture for a little bit and it still looks really good. Uh, let's go ahead and change this over to something um, a little different to see how it looks. Like this plasma has more of a defined line in the center. So that'll go through. So this is an example where it is a little more evident, but if you just have this like even an asset in a video or like on stream somewhere, you would have to be like purposefully like looking for that. I feel like at least it wouldn't really pull the viewer's attention too much, especially with this long of fade. And again, you also have full control of this cross dissolve. You can make it longer, you can make it shorter. If I pull in something like this energy one, this, oh, this is probably gonna be a great effect, but I can even shorten this cross dissolve a fair bit. It's going, it's going. Yeah, you can barely see the fade at all here. It is, a, I did make it a little quicker fade, but yeah, if you were watching that, I couldn't tell at all. And hey, perfectly looping proto assets. If you want to like hedge your bets a little and make sure it can be like less evident at all, the longer you make the initial clip, um, if I were to, this for instance was a five second clip that I cut in half. If I stretched that to 10 seconds, then it would only loop um, like half as often, obviously. That might help you out if you're trying to make things a little less evident, especially if there's a big pattern that you might be able to tell after five seconds, like is going through the same loop. That's an option. I would love to do more Proto tips like this. There is so much you can do with Proto if you haven't checked it out. Uh, free download links in the original video description. Link to that will be in the description. And also stay tuned because I have an idea for a way to sort of bring the community in uh, to uh, improve Proto and do some cool stuff. 
Uh, we'll see how that shakes out, but absolutely stick around. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.